Hey guys, this is Transformers Kid 2, back with another video review. Today we're going to be looking at Animated Deluxe Swindle. Oh wait, I forgot, there's a box. Um, love that character, it looks cool. Hey man, wanna buy a plasma cannon? Cheap. He's a Decepticon weapon specialist, even though he's not really a Decepticon, but because they're Hasbro, they have to give it a effect. I guess. So, here is Transformers Animated Swindle. A deluxe class figure out of Wave 5? Wave 5? Yeah, Wave 5. We got Wave 6 out right now. It's Samurai Prowl and Waspinator. You guys like that display in the back? I think I might keep it. I like how it looks. It'd be a good channel icon, I think. But, uh, anyway, he is an SUV. It's a sports utility vehicle. And what kind of sports utility vehicle is complete without a big, giant, frickin' cannon on the top? This thing is huge, and it can rotate. It's got like a little ratchet to it. Bam. And these vents, see how they're orange? Um, you push this green button, not the purple one. That's not a button, this green thing. Here you push it, turn purple, and he fires a purple missile. Swindle, let's see, I can get a better view of this. There we go. See how it's changing? Do, 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 do. I am Swindle! Hey! So, let's see how that works. So now you can tell if the missile is in or not without pushing the button. Do! So, anyway, it is removable if you think it's stupid. I kind of do, but stupid without it. So, the back, which has no paint, colored that in with a red sharpie and a silver sharpie. It's better. There's purple painted windows, translucent purple windows, translucent purple grill, translucent purple headlights, translucent purple missile, translucent purple cannon thing, purple there, purple trigger thing, purple Decepticon logo on the hood. So yeah, let's compare him to Legends Bumblebee and Beach Uh, it's 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 pretty small. It's it's not. It's not big compared to other deluxes, which I don't have out and do have Dinobot and Robot mode. That's not helpful. So, anyway, if you want, you can peg the cannon on the side so it's, you know, less obvious that it's there. So they swindle past and look up. Oh, hey, officer, I, I don't have a big cannon on my set. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to remove that. And for the transformation, wait, the camera a notch. Okay. Uh, start by flipping in the wheels to the bottom, and then just pull them down until you hear a little click there. Split the leg. That was pretty bright. Okay, that's not bad. This green that my camera is picking up is nothing like the green on the actual toy. It's actually picking up as a yellow. There we go. So there's the legs done. And just take these and flip them up. Take this part, bring it down so that these are free. You bring these up, push the head up, snaps in place. Flip this down, bring these up, okay, bring the arms down, and around, and then we'll just take this, flip it up, and then push it down and in, like that. Flip out this hand, and then flip out this part, which is these extremely long fingers, and bring out the thumb, and then bring this up, and it tabs into that little slot. Same up here. Okay. My biggest complaint with this figure is the fact that it can't stand. Mm. 
to be at this for all ten minutes. Finally flip the wheels up. Stands better. At least on this copy. Okay. And there's Swindle. Ah There. Uh, so here he is in his robot mode. He is a short deluxe figure. Here's Dinobot, which is also short, but it's taller than he is. You know, a better comparison is a box. It goes up to about black part of this cannon. Ah, here goes Optimus off the skateboard. That's something that I don't like about this whole display is that it's really close. It's sometimes a problem. Okay. Yeah, and he has his cannon, which you can peg on to this arm only. Okay. And that's Swindle. I'm not too impressed with him as everyone else is. He has a really cool head mold, and he has a lot of translucent purple. My lamp. Okay. Look at all the parts that are translucent. His eyes. He has big eyes. His legs. His fingers. And look at those eyes. They even molded in little pupils on the inside, so they're... See? His chest is translucent purple. His arms are translucent purple. The missile is. There's a lot of translucent purple on this figure. Okay. Uh, the articulation is the head can rotate, arms move up, back, out. Bend at the elbow, they can pivot here and at the thumb. Legs move up, back, out, bend at the knee. You know, basic stuff here. Oh no, whole standing thing again. I shouldn't have moved the legs. Okay, there we go. Um, gimmicks? Well, of course, he has his cannon, but if you flip down the chest, and flip this out, get a cannon, a little Gatling gun out of his chest, which. That looks stupid. It does not fit in with the animated line, it looks too realistic has these things in the back, which I don't know what they are for. His head is like flat. There's the side of his head. It's like flat. It's very funny. And he has a... It's like a smirk on his face. Kind of see there. Um, get another comparison. Legend Starscream. He is, he's short. He is definitely a short deluxe figure. Not tall at all. So, uh, another complaint I have, oh, I forgot he can rotate, is these, oh, and they can move here too, and here. I have a ball joint here, and a little swivel here. A problem I have with the arms is the ball joint is too tight. Now watch this. You see how I did that? That's because the ball joint is too tight, so it's, it's kind of hard to get good poses out of him. He's not hes not a fighting kind of guy, though, is the thing. He's not a warrior. He's a arms dealer. Oh, and the legs can rotate, too. So... He's a decent figure. He's not something to pass up. I know a lot of people love this toy, but I'm just not one of those people. Uh, so, anyway, uh, he still has his firing missile. Yeah, so anyway, Transformers 2 rolling out. I recommend the toy. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. This is Transformers 2 with Animated Swindle. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.